Hello everyone and welcome. I hope all of you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we have three really special guests. Everybody, please welcome my friend Flego1, Flego2, and Flego3. Now, if your best friend's name is Flego, I am so sorry, but the name is about to be destroyed in today's video. Now that you have met them, let's get to know their personalities. We would be honored if you would join us. So here we have a closer look of the Sith Trooper. Now let me remove this gun, but just starting with the weapon. Look at the beauty of this weapon. It looks amazing. I really love the design of it. It, it looks really good. And if I have to guess, this is going to be probably like a heavy Sith uh, Trooper. Someone who carries a lot of weaponry on it. I think that's probably what they were going for. Um, if I remove the helmet, this is where a little bit of the problem is. I, I guess the, I had a really hard time removing the head from the helmet. And I think it's because they get stuck. It goes pretty deep inside. I think that's one of the flaws with this uh, with Lego you don't have that problem but this one is a little bit tighter and I think when it comes to creating these figures with uh, these mom and pop shops um, all of their pieces are, are not the same I think that's what it is uh, probably the equipment that they're using is not producing all of these figures and shapes and helmets and heads and torsos to the point where they look really equal and the same and I think everything comes kind of in a different size and shapes and I think it's probably why it doesn't be really the helmet if I put the helmet right now the head will just literally come out and I probably will have a hard time trying to remove this but even just with that little problem you look at it right now and you're like okay it looks like Lego I mean it doesn't look like bad but right here is where I can show you a lot of the detail right there that looks like I almost like I broke it because I tried to pull it like so many times and I couldn't I like, put water put so many stuff just to be able to remove the head from from the helmet just it was in I mean I did a lot a lot uh, it took me a few minutes just to be able to remove the head and I think that's where one of the flaws is right here you have the shoulder pads and they don't look bad they look really good I mean I, they, I feel like you can do a lot of things with this one this one don't have printing but when it comes to the to the minifigure like the printing in it it's just insane like it looks really good I was worried that with these minifigures it might look crowded and like it is all over the place it is even it is not disproportionate it is not like out of place and they look really good some of these ones Okay, so this one doesn't have, but another thing too that uh, to notice is that um, when it comes to putting them back like this, they're really easier Easy. to come out. That's what I had noticed with this uh, Flego, that the shape, the, the torso, the legs, everything in some sense sometimes fits too snug or sometimes it fits too loose. And I think that's where the flaw of this one is with not being real lego i think with this this is where some of the flaws are with these um uh, mini figures so now that we set this one we're gonna move to the next one and it's gonna be set bisla and i'm excited for this one because this one looks really good hey, uh, this mini figure right here good. you can see it this is how the mini figure looks and it is so much detail going on here it's insane how much detail and add uh, items they added on this one and i'm gonna show you right now how many pieces literally it's loaded with a lot of little things here and there that make it look great amazing they just it looks beautiful so it's the helmet there is one weapon right here uh, you can remove the jetpack right there and then you can actually remove this gun the struggle is uh, real there you can move the gun and on top of that I just noticed but you can actually remove this section right here like you can see that it just comes out to uh, adding more I don't know I mean I guess does the viewfinder of the the weapon or something and they're just by itself right now where we have one two three four pieces well let me remove the head but then there's the shoulder pads right there then it is you remove the torso and there is this section right here who comes in the front of the torso of the minifigure which it looks great it looks amazing uh and then these sections right here you remove them too there it is that and then there is this one too and then right here you i was like okay i'm done i think but no you can remove the arms and still the struggle there is this flamethrower or view uh, finder or something that it is there normally the mandalorians carry i think this is a like a flamethrower or like a, a hook where they normally use when they're like in danger or about to fall or things like that and i think that's what they're used for this is how the minifigure just looks by itself uh, under it it looks good like the face still looks really good it doesn't have a face in the back but it looks really good like just like that 
10 accessories right here just for one minifigure and that's a lot that's a lot of stuff and i just paid five dollars for this the same as the the set uh, trooper the same price it was five dollars and i think that's that's a really good price even though it's not lego another thing that i did notice is so it doesn't have the logo in there in well literally anywhere one thing that i did saw it was that a lot of these minifigures tend to have where the molding probably finishes like right here where probably it's cut from whatever plastic molding it is making the the figure uh, i did notice that it had a lot of uh uh, scarves right there because probably when they remove it or they cut it from the mold I did notice some of that but the printing in it it's it's good it's really good I mean you have to be careful so some of these ones sometimes come stain so this minifigure right here if you guys see it it has printing even in the legs like to the side of the leg right there that you guys can see that it has printing in the legs that's really cool like the amount of detail that it went into a lot of these minifigures it's amazing and for the price of just five dollars you are getting all of this i think it is i think it is worth it and and that's what i'm trying to say uh lego has to be careful because it might get to a point where people are just you know what uh, who cares about lego let me just buy these ones even they're not they're not lego and i'm just gonna have them just so i can collect them the third and last flego that we have here is gonna be captain rex and this one the same thing now uh, you can remove the weapons the guns and the guns look amazing too like you can see right there guys the guns just look good they are really really good looking guns uh you can remove the helmet you can remove the head and then it has here the shoulder pad right there that lets you know that it is captain rex and then whatever this the cape of the waist i'm i don't know i have uh even though this is part of how Cap captain rex is supposed to look and what it's supposed to have i have never really been a big fan of those capes i mean sorry if you guys love those capes but it is something about them that i don't really kind of enjoy i don't think it looks really good in the minifigure for some reason i don't know i feel like if lego was going to do something like that for captain's rex into the future i wish they did something at the same time i don't want it to be printed but i do too feel like the one that captain rex uh, uses in the actual series or cartoons or whatever they are way different than this and i will put up image right here so you guys can see it it looks way different than what we have gotten even with flego i don't feel like it looks good i don't i'm sorry but i do not feel like it looks good in in the minifigures uh, so let me put back the helmet this minifigure the amount of printing the same thing it looks amazing the this one looks really good like this is one of those figures that if you were gonna purchase and someone sold it to you as lego you would not notice until you just figure out that it is not lego because it doesn't have the lo logo of lego the same thing a lot of blue in the arms i really love the design that they did here uh, a lot of blue over here a lot of printing in the helmet right there printing in the front they even use some of like yellow and gold kind of colors right here we think it looks good it looks really good i don't i don't really mind that well ladies and gentlemen that will be all from me and my three flego friends right here now as always let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this flego over here and if it is the first time that you hear the word just so you know it will become a word that we will be using in future videos when it comes to fake lego guys don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel it helps so we can continue this family growing and as always guys thank you for watching thank you for the support and i will see you guys on the next